Flying geese, there are very many ways to make flying geese and this is just one of them. The added advantage of this way of making flying geese is you get a three-dimensional effect at the end. Now the flying geese I'm going to show you today are made from finished size of five by two and a half inches. Whenever you're doing any measurements in patchwork or quilting, you always work in finished sizes. I need to cut for each flying goose two squares and one rectangle. And this is the Dutchman's windmill. Basically, the flying geese sort of fly round from the centre, all chasing each other out. Very simple block to do, very simple block to get hopelessly wrong when you sew it together. And there is your Dutchman's windmill. Now, you'll find this in many books, but I've never quite worked out as to whether they fly this way round or that way round. I suppose it depends on which way the wind is going.